Okay, this is just a what if test. Well, we now have balanced ropes on the torque converter top and bottom. What if we tighten those? Is it possible to think that would happen? Dirt. Okay now, uh, before we were having some very poor results with the torque converter, I moved the pulley so that it was in the center of the gear so that it wasn't being twisted sideways. Still had poor results. Now I've taken the rope and instead of just having it going around the top, the tension rope, I now have one around the top and one around the bottom to balance those forces because the planet gear assembly has no bearings on it. It's floating in there. So I thought maybe if I balanced it, it would work better. And I've just had the car move forward better than ever before, just with a quick test, very little power from the motor, a few hundred watts. And now I've uh, added another clamp on the rope so that uh, it could go backwards without uh, whipping the rope around and through the pulley. So, here goes. If this goes backwards, we're probably getting 60 to 80 foot-pounds of torque at the wheels. Which is, of course, the whole purpose of the torque converter, to be able to get those kinds of forces from a low motor power, a low motor torque. I stalled the motor because I've got the uh, only the current uh, ramp modulation. Now the rope came off one more try. I think we'll probably move here. that's taking quite a lot of uh, foot-pounds to actually move the car. Um, I could actually check that torque wrench. If I open the car, I can get out the torque wrench. So to move the car backwards here would take 40, 50, 60, 80, about 80 foot-pounds right at that particular point. So let's see if we can put it somewhere that doesn't take quite so darn much. 60, 80, whoops, 40. 